friends welcome to net talks tamil today we are going to discuss about networking basic interview questions we will be uploading a videos part by part this is a part 1 the networking interview questions for beginners let's see what kind of questions they will be asking in interviews the list the layers of osi model we already know the application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer and the network layer data link layer and then physical layer the, this is the basic question which every network engineer should understand okay how the osi models works and then we should know the layer how it works everything we should know it the basic question most of the engineers may expect this questions while during the interview what are the functions of transport layer network layer and data link layer the transport layer the main function it segments and reassemble data from upper layer applications and combine into the same data stream it provides end to end data transport services and then establishes logical connection between the sending host and destination host on a internet network it ensures data integrity at the transport layer by maintaining a flow control see and moreover in the transport layer only the tcp udp the ports all those things will be coming into the picture and the network layer the network layer is the layer 3 managing device ad addressing which means ip addressing it tracks the location of the device on the network it determine the best way to move data between devices that are not locally attached that it has to decide from where to where that traffic has to flow that is the main important function of the network layer where ip addresses getting involved ipv4 or ipv6 routers functions of the network layer to provide routing services within an inter network the third function is the network data link layer the data link layer is a responsible for physical transmission of data it handles error notification flow control the data link layer ensures that messages are delivered to the proper device on a lan by using a mac addresses it translates the messages from network layer into bits for the physical layer to transmit see the network data link layer that purely works based on the mac addresses whenever the interviewer asks this question we should able to respond for this the data link formats the messages into the data frame adds a customized header into the hardware destination and source address which layer is responsible for reliable connection where the reliable and non reliable connection come into the picture it is transport layer In the transport layer only the tcp and udp will come into the picture the tcp is responsible for the reliable connection and udp is a non reliable connection what are the different protocols works at each of the layers of osi model the physical layer if you take a physical layer uh, usb bluetooth and then our lan adapter wires and then isdn technology adsl technology now the isdn and ASD, adsl technology and all outdated but uh, that all completely works on the physical layer the data link layer the data link layer the protocols are the spanning tree protocol uh, vlan protocol and then dtp dynamic trunking protocol hdlc the p2p ppp the frame relay token relay and all comes under the data link layer the network layer protocols icmp igmp ipv4 ipv6 ipsec ospf agrp rip bgp see the ospf agrp rip the bgp and all is a routing protocol okay those protocols and all comes under network layer the ipsec also the protocol which is used to for a 
encrypting a data by passing over the any links the transport layer the transport layer uh, tcp udp gre okay, tcp G, udp and gre and all comes under the transport layer session layer in session layer network file system nfs will come the presentation layer the data encryption decryption data compression data conversion protocols in application layer okay dns dhcp ftp http ntp snmp smp telnet tftp ssh and then https all those things will come under the application layer protocol see we should understand the protocols how it works and then it will fit you to the which layer what is a port number and give us some examples the tcp and udp must use the port numbers to communicate with the upper layers because these are what keep track on different conversation crossing the network simultaneously the protocol numbers like ftp for ftp 20 and 21 for telnet 23 smtp 25 dns 53 dhcp 67 for server 68 for client and then tftp 69 http 80 pop 3 110 NTP 123, IMAP 4 143, SNNP 161, BGP 179, HTTPS 443, RIP 52. These all are the port numbers which is used. See, we cannot give all the port numbers. We no need to remember. At least basic port numbers we should always keep in our mind. What is the range of port numbers? The well known well known ports are 0 to 1023 and then registered ports 1024 to 49151 and then open ports 491522 to 65553 there is a mistake here it should be a 65553 what is the port number and give some examples see the port numbers Already we discussed the ICMP is a 1, IGMP the port number is a 2, IPv4 is a 4, protocol number and then TCP protocol number is 6. Okay, when we are capturing the packet in the Wireshark, okay, based on the protocol, protocol number will be added in the TCP header. Uh, that header, it's an, it will be added in the header. Okay, based on that we can find out. Okay, if it is a protocol number six means it means it's a TCP. If protocol number seventeen means it's a UDP. Okay, these are the major protocol numbers. Define the unicast, multicast, and broadcast. The broadcast is the term used to describe the communication where a piece of information is sent to all the nodes on a network. The multicast is the term used to describe the communication where a piece of information is sent from single source and transmitted to many devices but not all devices. Unicast is the term used to describe the communication where a piece of information is sent to single destination host. What is the difference between half duplex and full duplex? The half duplex, the data can flow in both the direction but not simultaneously at a time data can flow only in one direction example is a hub full duplex the data can flow in both the direction simultaneously example is switch what is a mac address format it is a 12 digit 48 bit 6 byte hardware address written in hexadecimal format it consists here two parts First 24 bits is a OUI organizationally unique identifier is assigned by IEEE. The, the last 24 bit is manufacture assigned code. What is a frame? The data link layer formats the message into pieces, each called a data frame, and adds a customized header containing the hardware source and destination address. If you take a layer to traffic, okay, it will be in a frame in the frame it will be having a mac address source mac address destination mac address all those information what is a tcp ip model the tcp ip model is similar to osa model but instead of seven layers it will be 
four layers application layer session layer presentation layer it's merged with one layer in tcp ip model which is application layer and then transport layer and then internet layer network access layer the physical layer and uh, data link layer is combined as a network access layer and network layer as combined as a internet layer here four layer application layer transport layer and then internet layer network access layer what are the protocols that are included by each layer of tcp ip model if you take application layer dns dhcp ftp tftp smtp http telnet ss the application protocol remains same in the transport layer tcp udp that also remains same in internet layer ip icmp igmp in network access layer it is a combination of both data link layer and uh, physical layer so ethernet uh, token ring fddi frame relay arp reverse arp stp all comes under a network access layer what is arp address resolution protocol is a network protocol which is used to map a network layer address ip address into data link layer address which is hardware address mac address arp is basically resolves ip address into corresponding mac address see arp is mainly used for resolving ip address into the corresponding mac address how arp works which layer and why the ARP works, ARP works at a data link layer. ARP is implemented by the network protocol driver and its packets are encapsulated by Ethernet headers and transmitted. Explain the use of ARP. If a host in, a net, in an Ethernet network wants to communicate with another host, it can communicate only if it is knows the MAC address of other host. ARP is used to get a MAC address of the host from its IP address. See, without knowing a MAC address, the end user machine, we cannot send a traffic. So, what ARP will do? It will resolve IP MAC address into IP address into MAC address. Then it will be for sending a traffic to the particular MAC address. What is an ARP table? The ARP maintains a table that contains a mapping between IP address and MAC address. This is called an ARP table. What is the source and destination address in the ARP request and ARP replay packet? ARP request source address in the MAC address of host which is transmitted the ARP request packets that is a center MAC address. Destination will be FFF, FFF, FFF that is a broadcast destination MAC address. And then ARP replay the source address will be the source MAC of host replaying for ARP request and then destination will be MAC address of host which is generated or uh, request packet. What is the size of an ARP request and ARP replay packet? The size of an ARP request or ARP replay packet is 28 bytes. How we can how can we differentiate between ARP request packet and ARP replay packet? We can differentiate ARP request packet from our replay packet using the operation field in the R packet for R request is one R replay it is two if when we are capturing the packet through the wire shock okay if you see that if it is a one in that operation field it will be the R request if you see it's a two in the operation field it will be R replay what is a proxy R? The proxy ARP is the process in which one system responds to the ARP request for another system. Example, host A sends an ARP request to resolve the IP address of host B. Instead of host B, host C responds to the is ARP request. Host A sends an ARP request to resolve IP address of B, host B. Instead of host B, host C is responding to the or request it's like how we are giving the proxy attendance and all the similar way okay this proxy ARP also works what is the gracious ARP why it is used when a host sends a ARP request to resolve its own IP address it's called a gracious ARP when a host sends an ARP request to resolve its own IP address it is called a gracious ARP in the ARP request the source IP address and destination IP address 
are filled with the same source IP address itself. The destination MAC address is the broadcast address. Gracious RP is used by the host after assigned an IP address by DHCP server to check whether another host in the network does not have any have the same IP address. But the host does not get a ARP reply for a gracious ARP request. It means there is another host which is configured with the same IP address. If host gets ARP replay, then it means host is also configured with the same IP address. If it is a host gets a ARP replay, then it means another host is also configured with the same IP address. What is reverse ARP? The reverse ARP is used to obtain a device IP address when its MAC address is already known. What is inverse op? Inverse op dynamically maps local DLCIs to remote IPs when the frame relay is configured. Thanks for watching NetTalks Tamil. Please like it, share it, subscribe it. If you have any doubts, please get in touch with me or YouTube channel comments. I'll address those questions.